All right, I'm gonna show you how to um, work with this sketchbook. This is part of your um, art kit, and what we have is two covers, the papers in the middle, and then the spiral. So this is um, all parts for your kit, for your sketchbook. Uh, taking away some, we're gonna start with some paint. Okay, paint that you have uh, picked up with the kit. And we're just gonna do a palette, paper plate, and these are gonna be our paint brushes. Okay, so super low tech. Um, let's just see what we have here. We have a green, we have a yellow, and an ochre. Okay, now this is gonna be quick and easy way to put paint on your sketchbook. And um, I specifically wanted to give you something like this as a tool to apply the paint so it'd be more gestural, it'd be a quicker application. You can use your wrist to apply. You can get kind of motion with these sweeping movements. Um, you have at least two colors. so What I want you to do is paint the whole um, sketchbook cover. The design is up to you. The pattern is up to you. Some different ways of working this would be to You can make straight lines in a pattern formation, kind of like block printing. Okay, if you don't like that, then you can simply use this as you would a brush. Okay, get over to the areas here by the little hole punches. Okay, so there's some kind of interesting um, patterns here by dragging, pressing hard and dragging the, the tool. I always like this kind of m movement or motion idea, uh, but variations on what works, variations on working with maybe a little movement. Alright, so you're going to cover the sketchbook. Now, we're not quite done with the sketchbook. Uh, after we've painted it, we're going to do one more thing, but what you want to do is you want to get paint on the sketchbook, cover it all areas, and let that dry. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll come back to it. So let this dry, set it aside. You're gonna wanna do the front and the back cover, let that dry, and then the inside of each cover. Okay, and let that dry. Now, when the book is finished. Let's say you have something like this. And you have the front and the back cover. I'm not quite done with the inside yet. Okay, I did this one. And I have already put this together. So let me just show you how you assemble this or take it apart. This is a spiral. All it is is a plastic spiral that um, everything is done. It's pre-made, the holes are pre-punched, and I'm now taking it out. But if you were to assemble this, all you would do is move the other way with the spiral and um, put it into the little the holes, and it would go ahead and feed all the way up. Okay, so you want to make sure that these holes all line up. And then um, what I did was I started here, 
So the top of my spiral at the bottom of the book and then just simply turned the spiral and it just feeds itself, okay? It's really nice, easy, feeds itself all the way up. So when you're done with that, the only thing with this um, kit, this is a kit that came together. I thought this might be um, wire, but it's plastic, which is fine. It's a little long. So the, the pre-made um, spirals that got sent with all of the, the pieces, um, the papers and the front covers, the front and back covers, it's like, I don't know, an inch or two inches too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it all the way up, okay, and then you're going to use this tool. This is a pliers. Um, there's two parts of the pliers. These are the jaws that you can grip with. And then in the little V-notch, this is a cutting tool. So you can simply put the spiral into the jaws, kind of wiggle it in there, and then snip. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna snip it down here, not at the top. So snip it, and this is plastic, so it's gonna cut really easy. And then that is the extra. Okay, so uh, this was already cut, um, so it's snipped off and it fits very nice. You, it, yours should look like this, where there is no excess on the top or the bottom. Okay. All right, we'll stop here and work on the next thing in just a second.